Namaste yogis and welcome to Laura Bauman Yoga. In this mini workshop you'll learn how to do vinyasa yoga and what vinyasa yoga actually is. And I'll also introduce the famous sun salutation. You're welcome to do this mini workshop as often as you like so that you learn the sun salutation by heart. Vinyasa yoga means linking breath with movement and in traditional vinyasa yoga you'll actually do one breath with one move at a time. In the warm-up, I will guide you through this, and then we'll flow into the sun salutations. Let's begin in a cross-legged position on our mats. And if you have blocks, go ahead, grab those. If you don't have blocks, no worries. You can use big books, and I'll show you other ways to personalize your practice. So let's begin in a cross-legged position. Place one foot in front of the other for easy pose, also known as Sukhasana. Spin your inner thighs down. Lengthen the spine, slightly drop the chin, and then as you inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. As you exhale, join your hands together, draw your hands down in front of your heart in prayer position, and feel free to set your intention for your yoga practice. Namaste. And then we'll begin with a wrist warm-up. So make sure that you roll your shoulders away from the ears and then bring your forearms up and start drawing circles with your hands. Doesn't matter which direction, we'll do both sides. And then switch direction. Last two. Well done. Now make a fist and do the same. Draw circles. And then take it to the other side. The last circle. And that's it. Lengthen the right arm out in front of you. Flex the right hand with your right fingers pointed up. And with your left hand grab hold of the right fingers and gently pull them towards you. Then point the right fingers down, stretching out the other way, and switch sides. Extend the left arm, stretching out the left wrist, and then point the left fingers down, and release. Shake it out and lower your hands down. As you inhale through the nose, reach your arms up towards the sky. Complete your breath as your arms are reaching all the way up. So synchronize breath with movement. Exhale through the nose, arms are going all the way down. Complete your breath. Inhale, reaching the arms up. And as you exhale, arms going down. That's vinyasa, linking breath with movement. Keep the right fingertips on the floor. Inhale, reach the left arm up for a side body stretch. Exhale, hold for a second. Inhale, lengthen the spine and as you exhale, bend towards your right side. Keep your chest open, ground down through your sitting bones. Keep breathing. Then inhale, come back to center, switching sides, left fingertips on the floor. Exhale, inhale, reach your right arm up, exhale, hold. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, dive to your left side. Keep your chest open. Breathe into your side body stretch. And on your inhale, come back to center. And let's take a moment in child's pose. Come towards the back of your mat. And bring your big toes together. Widen the knees as much as you need to. Sit back on your heels. Drape your upper body forward. Walk your hands towards the front of your mat with your arms extended place your forehead to the ground take a deep breath child's pose is a resting pose and whenever you need to you can always come back and take a break in child's pose and then from here come to all fours and if you have sensitive knees go ahead you can place something soft under the knees or fold your mat in the middle Check that your knees are directly under the hips and the hands are directly under the shoulders. Fan out your fingers, press down through your knuckles with the index and middle fingers pointing forward. As you inhale, drop the belly down, look forward. As you exhale, round your spine, chin to your chest. 
Inhale, arch the spine. Gaze forward. Exhale, chin to your chest, hollow out your belly. Inhale, head and tail go up. Exhale, head and tail go down. Do a few more on your own. Once again, we're linking our breath with movement. And make it your last breathing cycle in cat's cow pose. Come to neutral spine, tabletop position. Inhale, lengthen your left leg out to the back, curl the left toes under, place the left ball of the foot on the floor. Exhale, push your left heel towards the back. Inhale, come back forward. Exhale, push back. Warming up our calves, two more. And make it your last one. Inhale to come back and as you exhale, stretch your calf. Inhale, come back. And let's open up in a modified side plank. Keep the right hand under the right shoulder. Turn the right foot behind the right knee. Open your body up to the left side. Reach your left arm up. Keep pressing your hips up towards the sky. Keep your chest open and breathe. And feel free to draw circles with your left arm. Work with your breath. Opening up the side body. Last one. Well done. And then turn your upper body back, come to all fours to switch sides. Hands are directly under the shoulders. Lengthen the right leg out to the back. Curl the right toes under. Inhale, get ready. And as you exhale, push the right heel towards the back. Inhale to come back. Exhale to stretch the calf. Few more. Wonderful. Keep the left hand under the shoulder. Turn the left foot behind the left knee. Open your body up to the right side for a side plank, modified side plank. Reach your right arm up. Keep your chest open. And feel free to draw circles with your right arm. Follow your breath. And make it your last one. And then we're all meeting on all fours. And from our tabletop position, we will take a low lunge. Step the right foot forward in between the hands. And you can always take smaller steps. It doesn't have to be one big step. You can also grab hold of your right foot and bring it forward. Frame your front foot and make sure that the right knee is right above the right ankle. As you inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky, synchronize breath with movement, and as you exhale, lower your hands down. Hug your thighs in towards each other. Keep the left hand on the floor by the inside of your right foot. Inhale, reach your right arm up for a twist. As you exhale, lower the right hand down. Then step your right foot back and let's flow it out. Inhale, drop the belly down, look forward for cow pose. Exhale, round your spine for angry cat. Come back to neutral spine, tabletop position. And then switching sides, step the left foot forward in between the hands for a low lunge. And remember, you can always grab hold of your left ankle and then bring your left foot forward. Frame your front foot, left knee is right above the left ankle. Scissor your thighs in towards each other. As you inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky, synchronizing breath with movement. And as you exhale, lower your hands down. Frame your front foot. Keep the right hand on the floor. Inhale, reach the left arm up for a twist. As you exhale, lower the left hand down. And then step your left foot back. Well done. If you had padding under the knees, go ahead, remove it or unfold your mat. Come to all fours. Curl the toes under. Firm your core in and up. Then lift your knees and pelvis up towards the sky. Straighten out the legs, but soften the knees. Bring your sits bones towards the back. Lengthen the spine. 
for a downward facing dog. Lower the heels down as much as you can, but they don't have to be touching the floor. Find your breath and let's walk it out. Inhale, lift the heels up, exhale, bend the right knee, straighten out the left leg. Inhale, lift the heels, exhale, bend the left knee, straighten out the right leg. Keep going on your own. As you inhale, come on your tippy toes and as you exhale, stretch it out. Do a few more. Work with your breath. And make your last one. Lift both heels up and then shift your weight forward. You might have to adjust your hands and feet, come into a plank just for a second. Then lower your knees, chest and chin down. Then lower all the way down, line down on your belly, hands are directly under the shoulders, press the tops of the feet and your pubic bone into the floor, pinch your elbows together, inhale, lift your chest and head up, gaze forward for cobra pose. As you exhale, lower down, curl the toes under and push yourself back bend the knees and come back into a downward facing dog that was chaturanga dandasana option one i'll show you the second option and you can choose whichever option you want to do inhale come to a plank now we're going to keep our legs straight shoot forward and then bending the elbows lower all the way down Hands are directly under the shoulders, pinch your elbows together, inhale, lift your chest and head up, gaze forward for cobra. Exhale to lower and press yourself back into a downward facing dog. Chaturanga Dandasana will be used in sun salutations, so you have two options. Inhale, step the right foot forward, in between the hands, as you land, exhale. Make sure that the right knee is right above the right ankle. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky, scissor your inner thighs in towards each other. Exhale, lower your hands down, frame your front foot. Step it back into a downward facing dog. And let's take that Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, come to a plank and adjust your hands and feet in plank pose. As you exhale, lower the knees, chest and chin down. This is option one, Chaturanga. Pinch your elbows together, hands are directly under the shoulders. Inhale, come up in cobra, exhale to lower. Inhale, curl the toes under, exhale, downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, step your left foot forward. Exhale, frame your front foot. Make sure that the left knee is right above the left ankle. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, lower your hands down, framing your front foot. This time, we're going to step the back foot forward. Small steps big steps, doesn't matter how you get there. Place your right foot next to your left and take a moment in your standing forward fold, hinging from the hips, lengthen the spine, relax your neck. You can go ahead and grab your blocks. If you don't have blocks, take books or place your hands on the shins. On the inhale, we're going to lengthen the spine, flat back, come up halfway, exhale to lower. So either with your hands on the blocks or on your shins, inhale, Come up halfway, lengthen the spine, look at the floor, and exhale, lower down. A few more. Inhale to lengthen, flat back, exhale to lower down. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, lower down. Keep going on your own, do a few more. Soften the knees and see if you can go a little bit further on each exhale. And that's it. You can go ahead and put your blocks away. Standing forward fold. As you inhale, circle your arms down, around and up with a flat back. Slowly come all the way up. Allow your blood to settle. As you exhale, bring your hands to touch and draw your hands down in front of your heart. And then let's get ready for our sun salutation. You can place the feet hip width apart or the big toes together, slightly separate the heels, whatever you prefer. Place your hands in front of your heart in prayer position. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, fold from the hips forward all the way down. Relax your neck. Inhale, lengthen the spine, come up halfway, hands on the shins or on the blocks. Exhale to lower. 
Inhale, step the right foot out to the back, high lunge. Exhale, step your left foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, lower all the way down. Inhale, cobra, hands are under the shoulders, gaze forward. Exhale, lower down. Curl the toes under, inhale, and as you exhale, land in your downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward and step the right foot forward in between the hands. As you exhale, step the left foot next to your right. Standing forward bend. Inhale, lengthen the spine, come up halfway, hands on the shins. Exhale, lower down. And inhale, circle your arms all the way up. Exhale, join your hands together in front of your heart in prayer position. Wonderful. That was sun salutation on one side. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold from the hips forward. Lower your head down. Inhale, lengthen the spine, come up halfway, hands on the shins. Exhale to lower. Inhale, step your left foot out to the back into a high lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come to your plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Lower all the way down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale to lower down. Inhale, curl the toes under. Push yourself back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step your left foot forward in between the hands. Exhale, step the right foot next to your left. Standing forward bend. Inhale, come up halfway. Hands on the shins. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, circle your arms down, around and up. Exhale, join your hands together in front of your heart prayer position. Good job. And let's do it one more time on both sides. Inhale, circle your arms down, around, all the way up. Exhale, fold forward, hinging from the hips. Inhale, hands on the shins, come up halfway. Exhale, lower down, standing forward bend. Inhale, step the right foot out to the back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come to your plank. Option one, lower the knees, chest, chin, or lower all the way down, second option. Inhale, cobra. Exhale to lower. Inhale, curl the toes under and push yourself back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward, step the right foot forward, high lunge. Exhale, step the left foot next to your right, standing forward bend. Inhale, come up halfway, flat back. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, circle your arms down, round, come all the way up. Exhale, join your hands together in front of your heart in prayer position. Inhale, circle your arms down, round and up. Exhale, fold forward, all the way down. Inhale, lengthen the spine, flat back. Come up halfway, exhale, lower down. Inhale, step your left foot out to the back, high lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come to your plank. Option one, lower knees, chest, chin, or lower all the way down for the second option. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, curl the toes under and push yourself back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward and step your left foot in between the hands, high lunge. Exhale, step the right foot forward, standing forward bend. Relax the neck. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, come up all the way. And exhale, join your hands together in front of your heart. Excellent, you did it. And let's start cooling down. Bring your feet together, stand up tall. Circle your arms down, around and up. Bend the knees, sit back into your chair pose. Make sure you can see your toes. And then lower all the way down. Take a seat with your knees up. Hold on to your knees, bring your belly button in towards the spine, round your spine and bring yourself all the way down, chin to your chest, head comes down last. Lie down on your back, bring your left knee towards your chest and place the right ankle on top of your left knee. Flex the right foot, open the right hip by bringing the right knee down and then interlace your hands behind your left thigh or hold on to your left shin. Reclined Pigeon Pose. Keep imprinting your lower back into the floor. Keep breathing. Opening up the right hip. Big inhale through the nose. And exhale completely. Slowly come out of the pose. Place your left foot down. Scoot your hips a couple of inches over to the right. And as you exhale, let your knees fall to the left. Keep your shoulders on the floor. Open the right arm on the floor and keep it at shoulder height. Roll your head over to the right for a supine twist. Inhale, come back to center, switching sides. Plant the right foot on the floor, 
and place the left ankle on top of the right knee, flex the left foot. Bring your right knee closer to your chest and interlace your hands behind your right thigh or hold on to your right shin. Keep opening the left hip and work with your breath. One final breath in reclined pigeon pose. Then lower your legs down. Inhale, scoot your hips over to the left and as you exhale, let your knees fall to the right. Keep your shoulders on the floor. Open your left arm and place it down at shoulder height on the floor. Roll your head over to the left and breathe into your supine twist. On your next inhale, come back to center. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice big squeeze and release. Come into your corpse pose, Shavasana. Lengthen your legs out, let your feet fall open. Place the arms along the body with the palms facing up, head is in the center, and close your eyes. Take five deep cleansing breaths, allowing your body to melt and to soften and to release any tension. While you're breathing, notice how your body feels. And if you need to adjust yourself to get more comfortable, go ahead and do so. And then try to find complete stillness into your corpse pose. We'll be here for a few minutes, but you can stay here for as long as you'd like. Corpse pose is very important because it allows our bodies to settle and to integrate all the benefits of the poses and the breathing we just did. Find complete stillness in your body and in your mind. Keep the focus on your breath. Continue taking deep breaths or allow your breath to follow its natural pattern. Observe with an open mind how your body feels. If you notice tense spots, breathe into those spots. Release any tension. Let it go with an exhale. If your mind is drifting off in thoughts or to-do lists or other distractions, sounds, just gently bring your attention back to your breath and back to your body. Then slowly begin to deepen your breath, waking up your body by wiggling the fingers and the toes. Give yourself a nice stretch, sigh, yawn, whatever feels good. Now roll over to your right side into fetus position. And then from there, come all the way up into a cross legged position. Sit up tall and let's close our yoga practice together. Inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky. Gather all the positive energy, love and light into your being. Exhale, join your hands together and place them in front of your heart in prayer position. Remember your intention. And also feel gratitude for showing up in your yoga practice today. Thank you so much for joining me. May this time on your yoga mat be a blessing to you and may it ripple out into our world from my heart to yours.